Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and just a quick video really for you today to show you the great benefits of using shades of black, an otherwise wholly underestimated technique but if you use it right it's very very powerful. So please join me today and if you enjoy watching don't forget to hit the like button and be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. First of all, then I'm going to show you how to actually get Shades of Black because it's a technique that can't be purchased. Now, in the original Final Fantasy XII, it could be, but in the Zodiac Age, everything's been moved around a little bit and you now have to loot it from a treasure chest. So you want to make your way over to the Tomb of Wraithwell. This is where you fought Belias earlier on in the story. And you want to just touch the device next to the orange crystal, which will take you back into the tomb proper. And you won't have to fight any enemies in order to grab this. It's dead easy. As long as you follow the route I'm going to show you. So back in the tomb we're going to use the next device up. The next waystone. And that will take us even further in. Basically we're just going to like waystone our way there. And here you'll see there's two waystones. A red and a green. Each one will take you to um, one of the sides. Doesn't matter which one you use. I'll use the red one since that's the one we're next to. And when you are teleported to this area, you want to make your way down the path uh, to the side. And it will be unexplored even if you've had the map on until you first come down here. And then you want to use the ancient door. And as, uh, as I said, it doesn't matter what side you come down on as long as you uh, use one of those waypoint crystals and then come to the ancient door. And then in this area, which is the area where we fought Belias earlier on, we're going to make our way, just running the long way here, make our way down these stairs. Just thought we'd get some exercise before we did that. And down the centre here, right down to the bottom, and there's a chest on the top side here, which has Shades of Black. So, what is Shades of Black? Well, Shades of Black is a useful technique that casts random black magic at your target, and I'm going to show you now some examples of how this can be put to decent use. Right, so I'm just firing up trial mode here so you can see what this is really about. And I know it's only going to be the easy levels the easy stages but at least it will show you and give you an idea of what's going to be happening when you're using shades of black so first of all then uh, these are the gambits that I've set up now shades of black is really useful for characters that are not ranged attackers so for me for example uh, Vaan is a knight bushy combo so he doesn't use ranged weapons and also Balthea could use it because he's a foe breaker shikari but I'm just going to use it for Van for the time being. So you want to set it up on flying mobs. You can also use telekinesis by the way. But Van, for example as uh, Night Bushi can't really use telekinesis. Unless he has Ultima the Esper which he doesn't at the moment. And even when I get him there's no guarantee that I'm going to give it to Van. So this is really where Shades of Black comes in useful. And uh, you know really comes in on its own. And also, a good one to go for is Foe 3 plus Foe's Presence, because you can get some really good AoE, AoE attacks with Shades of Black. So, you can see we're casting it, and we cast Blizzagar. Which is pretty good. Let's get away from these rats. Oh, we're doing another Shades of Black. Okay, we cast Silence. So, basically, Shades of Black, even Silence is useful. There's Aragar. Even Silence is useful on, uh, you know, tough fights and whatnot. So Shades of Black will basically cast any black magic in the game, completely randomly, so you don't know what you're going to get. But it can even cast the strongest black magics in the game, such as uh, Flare for example. And it only costs a fixed amount of 24 MP. And if you're lucky, you can get some really powerful combos going. Okay, we've got Fire then, which... Okay, that sucks a bit, but let's be honest, since we started this, the vast majority of the time we've been getting level 3 magics, haven't we? Look at that, we just blizzard guard everything to death. 
And I'm just going to keep going on because, you know, it's so addictive using this Scourge. I mean, okay, so these are immune, but... Oh, no, they're not. They're absolutely obliterated. Absolutely. It's so fun. Let's move up see what we get here. In fact, I'm going to turn the Gambits off the rest of the party members. Not you. Fran and Pinello. See what sort of uh, things we're going to be getting here. Bit of poison. Okay, perhaps not too exciting. Flare. <laughs> Flare's only single target, but it will obliterate pretty much everything. Okay, like have a fire go. The only problem, or one of the downsides with using Shades of Black, as you just saw there, is you can't control which black magics are cast, and occasionally you will end up healing your enemies, but who cares? That is rare, in all honesty. If you know you're going to be facing an enemy that uh, is going to be healed, then you might want to turn it off. But even, you know, if you are, it's a slim chance, with all the black magics in the game, that you're going to be healing and you just have so much fun with it. Look at that. Thunder our ponage. Let's sort his gambits out. I want to have some more fun with this. Let's just do shades of black all around. <laughs> Even if uh, there's only one enemy. Let's speed things up a bit. And in fact, it doesn't even uh, take your MP down. My MP's been stuck at 404 since we started this. So, you know, it's completely free to do this. Blizzagar, just pwn everything. And as I said, even Silence and Blind, which are sometimes cast, uh, can be pretty darn useful. And I've got no healing gambit set up. Okay, this is interesting. We'll use Belias as an example of when things might not work well. Scathe is probably the strongest black magic in the game. Aero, pretty nice. See, we haven't even cast fire magic on this guy. Even though it would heal him. I'm not saying we won't. But don't think that just because it's random that you need to not use it. Okay, we did cast fire then. Fair enough. But we're casting a lot more blizzard spells than anything else. And he's down. Okay, guys. So that's Shades of Black. You can have a lot of fun with it. And as I said, for your melee characters, sticking that ton to take out flying foes or to AoE... Uh, multiple enemies down at once is a lot of fun to do and I hope you'll uh, agree with that so yes it's got its downsides but it's also uh, got its upsides and that is it's basically OP in many ways if used in certain situations so I'm probably going to be having more fun with Shades of Black and messing around with my gambits as I go through some of the game now and we'll see how we get on with this but that's going to be it for this video I hope you've enjoyed watching come back again soon and we'll carry on with more Final Fantasy 12 cheers all take care